Hi everyone, I wanted to show you how to make this man's bouquet. So I really wanted to make this for my husband as he was turning a round number. So I wanted to make it a little special. So here I've prepared a um, these sticks. It's like for marshmallows or whatever. They're kind of thicker side. And what I did, I bought all sorts of different kinds of stuff like you know sausage and cheese make it like cheese sausage bread and then some garlic uh, some lime for color and chocolate of course so i hot glue if you don't have hot glue you can definitely use tape duct tape well not duct tape scotch tape yeah and uh, so yeah that's i've placed those you know and wherever it's going to be able to hold well and i've done it like if it's a bigger box i use two if it's heavy you know i try to not to do anything too heavy so either use small tape you know but um i do recommend using hot glue as it's more sturdy and it's more you'll be more confident giving the gift knowing that nothing's gonna fall off but of course i use tape too and it worked as well so for the bottle you need to do um uh just like a few of those to a few of those sticks to kind of like hold in place and then i tape the bottom so you just want to prepare you know use peppermints and all this fun stuff uh, it, it took some time to you know create this have an image of what i wanted to place there i did a lot of extras and then i just like you know chose whatever what i wanted on the way you know and then i started to build this so the way why how we want to build this we want to start like making a bouquet little by little just kind of forming whatever is going to look good and then just like add stuff and then you want to wrap tape around around the sticks so it holds in place so then like I'm creating, I add some chocolate, I add the bottle. Um, and then you just want to make sure it's, you know, taped. That way it stays in place. You can definitely um, place how you want, you know, first create a bouquet before taping these together. You can definitely do that too. It's just I kind of already have an idea, so I'm kind of working with it. But yeah, I've done this a few times, so sometimes I first place everything on the table, shape it into the bouquet, and then I tape it all together. Or you can just do, like, you know, piece by piece, you know, so that's how we roll. And then you just want to, you know, work, and then if something, you know, doesn't really look right or you want to add, just I flip the bouquet upside down, and then I just tape the back, you know, if I want you know the sausages to be at the top and i try to make uh, into a shape where it's all like a like an oval you know top so it's not like short and then uh, there's huge gaps in between you know i try to make it kind of like same size on the top as you can see it's all like about same height if that's what i'm trying to say yeah and then so that's kind of like my section i want to tape the back where you can hot glue like i said tape works very well if you use scotch tape it's pretty strong and then just you know work with it trust me this is you this is going to turn out very cool they're going to appreciate it and you know all this hard work if it's hard to make you know for you it will pay off you know their smiles and i've done this for father's birthdays and stuff and they really appreciate it too and here comes our bread our baguette so you can even leave it in the bag but i want to take it out and slice it of course so that's how it is and then I will show you how to add, you know, the paper bag to wrap it in. And I'll show that. 
So you get your paper bag, you open up the bottom, just the bottom side, and then leave it flat. And then for the top, you want to do the same thing, open the bottom, and then you want to fold it to kind of make it like a triangle shape. And you'll put that at the top, and the second one you'll leave for the bottom. So, and then that's how we're going to wrap it. So you're going to need two paper bags. And then you're also going to need staples as tape will not work too well. So, and then, so you just want to staple and, you know, just kind of work it out as you can see. See, I stapled there on that side. Then either tape or you can... Just, yeah, my children want the candy already. <laughs> so then you just want to, you know, wrap it, wrap it um, to make it pretty. Have some folds so it's not, you know, sticking out or anything. Either, you know, try different ways like I've done here, you know. And then, ta-da, I think that works great. And then I'm going to staple right there and call it good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I've done that. Put the staples in. And then we have, um, like, an airplane shape <laughs> over there that we need to fix a little bit. Put enough staples to make it sturdy. These, yeah, these airplane Need to do something about that. Because it looks funny. So we just want to fold. So it's not, you know, kind of trying to make it into like a diamond shape or a triangle shape, I guess. So, yeah, that looks better. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. And then you probably want to staple that. And look how our bouquet looks. It looks amazing. It looks so cool. And I can't wait to give this to my husband for his birthday. It was so cool. He was so excited to see it. He was pleased that I, you know, worked on this for him. He was appreciative. <laughs> of course, he deserves it. But yeah, I love to do crafts and stuff. So for me, this was fun. So then you add in the bread. Of course, don't forget the bread. It brings a lot of good touch-ups. That's the final look. And then you can also add some rustic bow, you know, or something like that. So yeah, put the cheese, the sausage, some drink. And chocolate, bread, I mean, stuff that man love to eat. And there you have it. I hope you guys like and subscribe. Enjoy. Make everybody happy. And you'll learn something new too. <laughs> Thanks for watching.